Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna have a look at 10 more of the best grenade spots within Row Company to show you some great ways to get early kills or some nice angles on grenades to help win more games. As always, these are really good spots for you to start using and I use them within my own games, so I can guarantee they definitely work if you can use them in the right situation. For now though guys, if you do go on to enjoy the video or you like the educational based content coming out from this channel, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. For now though, let's get into it. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. Please allow. Doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a now you would have seen my normal grenade spot here on High Castle where I throw it on the right hand side for the jumping over the wall. However, when you've done that a few times, they tend to wisen up and try and go around this left hand side. So this pre-nade is going to be a great little spot as long as you don't jump off to catch those people trying to juke you out. I want to see the stuff the world has got in store. I want to take it on it, I'm falling. The cityscape by night, want to catch in my photos. Where you go? Every corner twice as long. There'll be my treasures forever when I can hold Another fantastic one here on High Castle is to catch any of those people going through mid. Basically, I love grenades in High Castle, and so I've got a few different spots that you've now seen, including this one. Just cook it up over, land it on the left hand side staircase, and you should be able to get yourself a nice cheeky kill. Now this one does involve you being a little bit quick to get to the mark here and landing exactly with this flight path. If you miss it by a couple of seconds, you are going to be a little bit off of your grenade. So make sure you get to this long angle as quickly as possible. You often see me do this with a sniper or AR to get some early information. But it also works this great pre-nade just to cook it here and catch them as they run up this ramp through the doorway along towards B short. Now this pre-nade is definitely one of my favourites on the list and is a great one for Favelas. Catching anybody on the attacking side coming out of mech onto tree, it does involve again really good timing and when you're throwing it you want to cook it onto this wall so it bounces a little bit into their path and will just help you get that kill a little bit easier. Trying to catch them immediately out the door can be a little bit rough so that angle is the best. Now Glacier is definitely one of my least favorite maps, especially when teams decide to do this full on assault through that B side. But it is such a good funnel point that you can get a really good grenade off as long as you get the timing down perfectly. As soon as you come across this zip, you want to have that grenade in hand, be cooking it and look for exactly where they are to just at that angle. And you should be able to get one or even a couple good kills to stop that push. Just to find I thought I'd throw one in there for the new map route and this is a really good one if you are trying to attack that B side of the map. You often see someone sitting on that little box along that half cover which can get a really annoying angle on you should you want to advance further on towards the B side. So this little nade can help deal with that person just ever so slightly. You want to be banking it off that right hand wall to them and you can cook most of it from in cover so you should be nice and safe as you go for it. And 
Now this grenade spot on hollows is a really really good one and is kind of great if you have a teammate in mid on comms with you who can let you know if they are 100% pushing the angle but you want to be going along this flight path really hugging this cave wall so you get to this position in power nice and early. You want to cook the grenade as you come up the ramp and you're throwing it right in this spot to catch anybody moving through mid to B on that rotate. Again someone in mid to help give you that call out is going to be really helpful too. Now this is a pre-nade I used to use back in my comp days and it really helps along with a lancer play to catch anybody moving into bathrooms really quickly. Say you know there's someone that goes in there at the start of every round and being annoying, get out of information. This grenade can be really good. And what I particularly like about it is if you have a lancer on your team, she can pop her ult and rush through into bathrooms and about the time this nade goes off, she should be there to clean up the kill just in case you can't with the nade. Icarus has been another map which is one of my favorites to get grenade kills on. I think I'm actually dominating this map with grenades at the moment. And this is one that catches people off guard so many times as they rush through from the A site and you sort of do that little trade along long and they're moving into pit or balcony. This nade catches people off guard so, so much. I honestly get at least one or two kills a game purely off of this grenade. It just involves clicking it right in this angle where they're about to pop through. And it also works with bounce nades, which is really nice should you have them in your pocket as well. Rounding off then is going to be Skyfell with a nade that isn't necessarily a pre-nade like some of these other ones, but is a nade that you can use at any point, and it involves you pushing through to mid doors to corral them and B. Again, you want to look at flight path if you want to get an accurate read of if you're safe to push through mid. As you move through to D2 and you can spot them sort of moving towards pillar, you may want to back them off and they'll tend to sit behind this little spot right here, and you have to get a perfectly timed nade right on this spot to get the kill, but I tend to get again a couple kills with this nade in particular. Okay then guys, that takes us to the end of the video and if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, you can also come follow me on twitch.tv slash radbargaming, see live gameplay commentaries, I'm also on TikTok, Instagram and have a second channel, more Radbar, all linked in the description below. For now guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, remember, be loyal, be brave, be relentless and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>